Hello everyone, it's Michael V at Hypertherm again. Uh, working on the, the Mercury some more today. Um, got the uh, rear Soto bumper that I bought. It's a 1955 DeSoto rear bumper that uh, matches the tail lights and the uh, fender extensions here. So uh, I ended up buying that to uh, match everything up. And as you can see, it's uh, quite a bit wider than the, uh, the stock Mercury. So what I've gone ahead and done is go ahead and lay out. I need to cut out five inches out of here on both sides and bring the ends and these ends over here they're supposed to end up right about here one inch under the this lip right here this is where the tail light and everything fits so the plasma today will come in very handy okay so I'm gonna go ahead and cut all this um, we're gonna cut this section out right here and uh, here's the power max 45 and should make a quick work of this thing so I'm using this as a guide to make a um, nice straight line basically you're just gonna run across here like so I'm gonna pierce it first and then go through all right, here we go. Okay, you can see it made nice, beautifully cut. cut, cut straight lines, and uh, made simple work out of that chrome, no problem. Okay, I just finished uh, cutting one side of the bumper and uh, found out something startlingly cool to me anyways you can see how clean the cut is right here so this is the uh, the bumper part itself the original bumper and then here's the uh, the part that I cut off and uh, the cut obviously is very very clean but what's sort of stunning to me is that there's no damage to the chrome okay I've gone ahead and uh, cut all the pieces on the rear bumper and sort of tacked them all back together and this is basically uh, a mock-up version of how it's gonna look on the car Looks like uh, everything's going to work out pretty well.